Although a whopping 12 episodes of Ninjago Crystallize were revealed to us yesterday, I think we can all agree on one thing. Nia's return as a human has been by far one of the biggest things to come out of all of this, and I really did just want to make a whole video covering this because I'm pretty conflicted on the situation to be honest with you, and I do have a lot to say about it, so let's begin. Quickly though, if you haven't already and do appreciate the content I put out on a daily basis, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You guys are especially not going to want to miss out on the content I have planned in the coming days. We have a lot to talk about regarding the new episodes, so yeah, at the very least, please do consider it. With this being said, on with the video. So Nia's return, it was pretty strange right from the get-go, right, because it happened basically just straight away. Episode 2, we already got more details regarding it, and that was basically the whole setup for her return, which, which again, I was just not really expecting in the slightest. Um, I guess I kind of did actually because of the leaked Teletoon clips, but even before then it seemed like Nia's return would happen towards the very end of the season or maybe even in the next season. That's kind of what I had going in my mind, but no, it happened straight away. And while I'm not really the biggest fan of that, I do still understand kind of why it was done because Nia has to help out in some scenes and whatnot with her with her whole Samurai X mech. So I do definitely understand that. And I guess also the end of the season is uh, kind of preserved for the Crystal King stuff that's gonna be going on. So yeah, I get it. But at the same time, yeah, at the beginning, that just wasn't really the best move in my opinion. But yeah, that's basically all I've got to say on that. Now next up, I am not a fan of how quickly it took. Now the first few episodes overall did have pretty bodge pacing. It just kind of felt strange. And that's especially prevalent in uh, episode one. It kind of felt like the uh, season 4 premiere on two times speed and everything was just going so fast. And for what it was, I again understand why that was done, but at the same time, way too fast for my liking. And it's the same with Nia's arc overall. She returns to a human way more quickly than I would have liked. And for an irreversible change, or something that was set up to be irreversible, um, for that to just be instantly reversed in like two episodes later, yeah, it kind of gets rid of all of Seabound's consequences, which I'm not really a fan of at all. I wish they would have had Nia kind of understand her, her water self more, and that would have been a much better way of handling things. But as it is, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of her human return, I'm not going to lie to you guys. And if she did return to her human form, as I keep saying, just have it done later on in the show and not have it happen basically two episodes after she already, she turns to water into the Seabound finale. So yeah, that's basically what I've got to say there. With this being said though, somehow I did still enjoy the arc. And I know I keep basically ranting on the entire thing, but at the same time, I really did get some enjoyment out of it, and I thought it was really well done, especially the first three episodes of the arc. Overall, yeah, it was absolutely fantastic, and I had a lot of fun with it. It was a very solid arc, although I do have a lot of problems with it. It's kind of strange to say that, but that's genuinely just how I feel. So overall, I did very much enjoy her return, and episode two was a great episode, both story-wise and animation-wise. It was really, really good. But at the same time, yeah, it was extremely rushed and it does have some other issues. But yeah, I can still enjoy it, to be honest with you guys. And with this being said, that's basically all I've got to cover in today's video. With this being said, what did you think of the arc? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Drop your thoughts down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you haven't already, drop a like on today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And do turn on the notification bell so you guys can be the first to keep up to date on all of the latest Ninjago news and content right here on the channel. With all of this being said, I will see you all in my next one coming out very, very soon. Goodbye.